Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and once again we have the Inghams for you. I know you can't wait after the last few days, which have been stunning, but trust me, you're gonna want to watch this one, right? You really, really are. Now, we have the Inghams, they are still in that ski resort that they've been sort of stalking for the last few days. So, let's see if they actually do something interesting this time. Although yesterday they did go skiing, so, you know kudos to them right let's see if they do anything good this time morning i found welcome to today's vlog you're joining us this morning in sorcel in sweden i almost said switzerland in sweden if you're new to this channel we are making our way all the way up to the arctic circle we are going to be heading into finland tomorrow and heading to some new places well, sarah i don't want to be the bearer of bad tidings but it does appear to my recollection at least that you went to finland last year so which new places do these entail are they the same new places that you went to last year and you're just regurgitating the same things because i don't think i can cope with it any longer because so far you've been on this trip for i don't know a month three weeks two weeks feels like a month right it does feel like a month honestly so you've been there that you've done nothing nothing you were promising us you said right from the very outset we're going to be doing so many different things our itinerary is different we're going to this hotel but it's not the same hotel as the last time that is the most different thing that you have done on this trip so far gone to a different hotel than the first hotel <laughs> that's that's how bad it's been sarah but you have been to <laughs> You're at this ski resort right now and you, you've been there. You went there last time, right? As much as you might have loved it last time and it's great that you've gone there and then join yourselves, but it's not different, right? Unless you're different means something different to the rest of us, right? Because this is not different. So make sure you stick around. I was about to say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh... We used to say that back in the day. Yeah, you've been watching me too much, Sarah. <laughs> I still say, you know, us small channels, we have to say it, right? We need to, the support, we need people to sub and things like that. But, uh, yeah, you don't get many new people. So, it's not really, it would be embarrassing, really, for a, a channel the size of yours to beg for subs and just get one or two extras a day. <laughs> just don't do it. It's embarrassing. Um, pardon? Oh no, I don't see subscribers. Um, but yeah, so today we are on, we woke up this morning on a, a ski resort. We're not... Sarah Ingham talking to one, talking to us as if we're dumb. We're not stupid, Sarah. We woke up this morning on a ski resort. Sarah, you've woke up at the same place the last three mornings. Honestly, we have been watching. I know, as torturous as it is, we have actually been watching. Experienced skiers, we've only done it a few times. I didn't, only did it for the first time yesterday, but we absolutely love it. We had such a good day yesterday. Today's our last day here today. Despite how sad we are at leaving, we are excited for the rest of this trip. The girls, Isabel, uh, Esme and Isla, sorry, were up at the crack of dawn this morning, the second those slopes, slopes opened, and they were on them. Would that be the Sarah Ingham crack of dawn, would it? <laughs> Yesterday, you told us that the slopes opened from 10am. That's right. The girls were up at 10am this morning, at the crack of dawn at 10am, in order to get on the slopes in time. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Their lives. So they've gone, they're skiing, they've been skiing for the last hour or so. 
Me and Isabel just got ourselves ready and we're about to head over there now to join them. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day today. Me and Isabel are about <laughs> me and Chris like taking turns because obviously there's a little three. You like taking turns, do you, Sarah? Well, you didn't make a very good job at taking turns yesterday because yesterday you had the whole thing to yourself, didn't you? You didn't even give Chris a turn, this taking turns thing. Uh, Chris was going to go first this morning, but it makes more sense because Aurora's just been fed and she goes down for a nap at this time for me to go first and then he's going to go. He's going to the top of the mountain today. I think there's a black ski thing up there. I'm not sure if they're actually doing the black, but him and Esme are going to the top. Good luck to them. I'm staying on the baby slope. But my job today, I am on my own um, journey with skiing. I'm not competing with anyone else, obviously. Don't worry, Sarah. Just a few more lessons and you will have it cracked. You will be competing with the best of them. You can join uh, Eddie in the Olympics next year. I'm on my own little journey. Yesterday, I just about mastered how to ski. I didn't go very high up the, the, I say the baby slope or the children's slope, it is actually really high and there is actually bumps where you can jump on it as well. So even though I'm saying the baby slope or the kids slope, it is actually a decent, mm -hmm. a, a, quite a big hill. And like it's just ones that the children use to start with, I guess. And instead of an actual, I think that's the difference, instead of a ski lift where you actually sit on, it's quite hard to get onto. Mm -hmm. It's just a rope that you hold onto and it pulls you up. I think that's really the only difference. Yeah. And there's penguins in there and things to make it, you know, exciting for children. Anyway, it is quite a big hill and I only dared to do halfway up yesterday. So if I can gain anything today, it will be going to the top of the children's slope or the children's area slope. Um, you ready to go, Isabel? Yeah. Let's go get suited and booted. That is like the best picture that I think I've seen of you, Sarah. I don't even know where to begin with it, to be honest with you. It's like you're wearing a crash helmet with like fur coming down, like that thing that, you know, the thing. Anybody know the thing, right? The thing that is the thing, right? Out of um the thing, you know, the thing. Um. The Adams family, that thing. You know the one. <laughs> it's a big jaw. Look at that. Spot. Don't so stupid. It's in spot. I'm not wearing a hat today. No, really. Are you not wearing a hat today? Am I, am I the only one with me? Am, am I the only one here that thinks that Sarah is losing her mind? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Or is it me? I mean, I. To be honest, it looks very much like there's a little bit of a hat on her. Don't tell her, though. Don't tell her, right? But, you know, I mean, maybe I'm the only one that's seeing it. I don't know. It's actually... I don't think it feels as cold as yesterday. It doesn't, but I've put all my oven today. So. Maybe that's why. Supposedly, it's minus 15 today. It was only minus 8 yesterday. Between minus 8 and minus 10. This morning when we woke up, it's minus 17. That was a bit chilly. <laughs> um, but yeah, suited and booted. Are we nearly ready to go? Got your shoes? Watch the washing. Oh, we've got the biggest black sack. That's how you describe Chris's, you know, his black sack. I mean, that's probably the cold, all right? The cold or lack of washing up in that area, you know, I don't know of washing to do again that we're going to do before we'll probably put that on tonight actually do that before we leave you know they're done okay we're out on the slopes guys the girls have been doing the big ones i've been on my own that little, little boy up there just came but i was on my own on here yeah. and um i was feeling a bit stressed when you asked yeah i was having trouble getting off the big the big lift, big lift. Um, because every time I did it, I fell and it was kind of embarrassing because everyone was looking at me. And I kept falling going down the hills. I couldn't get up because my skis kept falling on and off. I should lose the sticks. On. But we had a chat. And what did I say? No one's going to be looking at me, even when I fall. No one even cares. Literally no one cares. Yeah. Think about it. You're just a little girl skiing for like the fourth time in your whole life. Yeah. No one's going to go home today and be like, oh, do you remember when we got off the lift and we saw that girl fall? Yeah. You're just a little girl. I'm a mum, a grown woman, and I'm playing on my own on this kiddie section. Do you think I care? I'm on my own journey. I'm not out to please no one. I'm here to have fun, not worry about other people. 
Well, you should feel the same, okay? okay. Falling's not, it's not a failure. Yeah. Getting back up, not getting back up is what's a failure. You are so close, Sarah. So, so close to be to be an inspirational for once in your life. Inspirational. I've got to say, most of that, yeah, I perfectly agree with it. Absolutely, absolutely agree. And well done to Sarah Ingham for the first time in her actual adult life being something other than a useless twat, right? Um, it was just the, you know, the... The not being able to get up is also a failure. That shouldn't really be implanted in people's head, you know. Um, yeah, I, I I understood the message. I did just the 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 end bit where um, criticizing your child if they don't get up to try again, they are also a failure. That is. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I you know? always get back up and try again. I got my pole fixed because this. Yeah, it snaps in it. And I'm gonna do a couple turns on this slope just to, you know, get it back, and then I'm gonna go off that. Yeah. And Remember, that's the thing about it. ski resorts: is people of all abilities. Not yeah. everybody's a pro. There's like you know? two-year-olds doing it amazingly, and then there's like thirty-year-olds that can't, like, hardly even do it. Exactly, so. because two-year-olds have been doing it their whole life since yeah. they could walk, probably. You know, they've got they've got them strip things that their parents hold as well. Yeah, they do. Um, so that's what I mean with the children's section. It's not an actual lift like these bits over here. You just hold on to the tightly onto the thing and it pulls to the top. Anyway, I, I just hit a whole. I just hit a um, what's it called? A milestone. Yeah. So yesterday I went halfway up this hill, past the penguins, up to where that black thing is. I think it was like about up there somewhere where that first pole is, or just before it. Um, and I fell. That's where I fell, isn't it? Second time off, and I fell there. So I was like, right, I'm not doing that again. I didn't do it at all yesterday. I just went to the penguins. That was the furthest I went. And today, I've just done the penguins three times. And then I went back up. I, I said, no, don't let go. And I was letting it pull me past the penguins. And I was panicking. But I was like, no, you have to do it again. Just because you fell, that doesn't mean you're going to fall every time. So I did it. Well, I don't know. I'm feeling a bit um, apathetical. There's a word for you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to praise her. No, I'm not going to praise her. I can't. I can't do that. Uh, no, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. But what I will say is that, yeah, in some instances, I find myself thinking, I wish I was more like Sarah. You know, <laughs> it's weird, right? It just comes to me. Um, but things like. You know, if you push on and don't give up and things like that, you know, certain people, not saying myself necessarily, but certain people do have a very big problem with trying to do that and trying to, you know, just push through and excel at things and get past things and do things that they are afraid of and things like that and Sarah I mean for all her faults actually does that I think right and <laughs> this is where I'm going to criticize her again I think it's something to do with Sarah lacking a certain element in her brain um, like she doesn't care right she doesn't care about things she doesn't care about people and therefore she doesn't have the ability to feel fear in that respect i feel i feel like that's a thing and whereas other people have this like intense fear because they care what people think they care what people say they care about things right and that's it um Anyway, I've gone a little bit off kilter, but it was just something that came to me that I thought I would share with you that sometimes I do. Yeah, in fact, in fact, I found, listen up, I'm going to say it. I'm jealous of Sarah's ability not to care. I went back up to them bits there. Did I fall? Nope, you did not. Nope, I'm booming bossed it. I think I'll get to the top of the hill today. You think I'll get to the top? I'm not sure. I don't like it when it starts going too fast. <laughs> I panic. I am... Um... I haven't actually, when you get to the top, there's like a bump. Yeah. That I haven't done that yet, so I'm going to do that now. Cool. I'm going to see if I can do it and swerve in and out of the orange bit. Yeah, that'll be, be fun. I'm going to do that to go up the hills. Yeah, but swerving. Down, it's about like that steep. 
Yeah. 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 Bro. It, it actually is quite it's because when it first like sets I off my hand and I, was like, oh, oh, I struggle to get off it because i'm trying to get off halfway yeah. up the hill but i don't struggle but i just pull half my hair out yeah. i don't know how that happens i am not going all the way to the top Why right are now scared? are you joking me maybe by the end of the day right. i can see myself through the reflection of your goggles <laughs> okay this is the highest i've been <laughs> i'm so excited i'm scared they moved that black thing. Yeah, that black no, thing wasn't there. Really good. That wasn't up there yesterday. It was here. Yeah. Like you go too fast. This is what I did when I first started skiing. I start panicking and then I just fall. But if you start you speak to yourself in your head and say don't panic, don't panic, and just talk to yourself in your head. Yeah. Then you don't fall and you'll be up to it. And if you're going too fast, just start all back. Right. Thanks I for your tip, Tyler. Oh no, I do. I need all the tips. I can get your hats open. Oh, She's not skiing, by the way. Her skis are off. Oh, yeah. But I didn't know your hat was open. Yeah. I'm going to start to annoy you all in a second. Um, <laughs> I'm just watching it, right? There's not much else to say, okay? Because they're not doing anything particularly um, funny. <laughs> Yeah, that, that I can take the piss out of. Not that I'm going to take the piss out of Ryla, obviously. But in, in general, the, the area... I'm just watching here. They are skiing and things like that. I couldn't do this, right? I actually couldn't do it at all. And I wouldn't want... No, actually, that's a lie. I would like to do it, but I couldn't do it, right? Sarah and her crew, they can do it because... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not going to praise Chris. No, I can't. I'll praise Sarah, maybe, at a push. I can't utter the words that Chris is an inspiration. I can't, because everybody knows that he's not, right? But I'm watching this unfold, and it's just something that... <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking now, fuck's sake, this is ridiculous. Wait, shall we close that? that? Do you want me to do it for you? Yes, please. So you're taking your gloves off. Right. I'm trying to turn around to see if my fell off the little. She fell off the rope. Um, the rope. Trying to turn around. I'm going to smack my teeth. Oh no, are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. You go down, I'll get back on the Oh, I'm scared. I wish I had the GoPro. It doesn't even look high from here. Isn't it high? Yes. I feel like I have to keep justifying it. <laughs> right. I'm coming in! Get ready to catch me at the bottom! <laughs> Woo! Ready, Ez? I'm back up. <laughs> you ready to go? Look at her go, everybody. It's Sarah the Eagle, everybody. It's finally time to go, to, to go and play. We're going to put our jackets on and ski away. Who's ready to go? Who's ready to go, Sledge? And ski? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, just a microphone, Jay. Don't worry. Ready to put our coats on? Yeah. Let's do yeah. it, man. All right, guys, we good, man. Yeah. We're going to hit the slope. Yeah. Sarah's in her element right now, apparently, loving it. <laughs> Bless her. I'm so proud of her. Okay, guys, I've made it to the very top of the slope, and I can't lie, I'm pretty chuffed to myself. It's quite a way down, as you can see, now we're at the top. Considering yesterday, those penguins there, there were the furthest I'd go. I'm pretty impressed with this. I've got Isla all the way down there waiting at the bottom. Let's go.
<laughs> yeah, she's got it now. Yeah, you got it now. You're a boss. You're good, man. You got it down now. <laughs> I love well it. Done, babe. It's so fun. Then go and conquer. Go and conquer one of these slopes, resume now. No. Easy, <laughs> no. babe. You you just controlled that perfect. You will be easy fine on them. You go really fast on them. No, you down. don't. You don't. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, Mila. No. You having fun? Yeah, I just got stuck in there for like 10 minutes. I was just sat there, like everyone going past me. My foot was stuck on a branch oh, and it no. was buried in the snow. Everyone was just holding past me. I was like, can someone help me? <laughs> and then this one little four year old girl came skiing down the hill. She's like, do you need help? She was really cute. Oh, bless you. She helped me out. Yeah. That's right, man. Right, I learned I'm that earlier anyway. when I was really, really struggling to get off the <laughs> ski lift. And me and had a little chat, and I can do it easily. So, yeah. Well, you can all laugh at me in a minute because I'm, <laughs> I'm going to fall numerous times. Don't worry. I'm doing that now. Go on, Jace, again. Go for it, man. Boss it. Boom. Oh. <laughs> and again, mate. And again, and again. Okay, man. Enjoy the ride. Me up in the middle of the path, like, sorry, don't into me. <laughs> go on, Jace. This place has to be like the most beautiful ski resort ever. It's so, so I pretty. I want to go home. Look at that sun, man. Honestly, I literally could stay here. Oh, Sarah, mate, you have to go home. Just in a few short days, you have an appointment, remember? Do you remember the appointment? You're going to get yourself fixed up or the beginning of getting yourself fixed up. You know, your tubey things, which need to be untied, detied, retied, or whatever the hell's happened to them. It needs to be done, right? You need that sorted out. And you have an appointment. Remember your appointment? It's in a few days. By the way, it's in a few days, if you had forgotten, Sarah. Remember, a few days. Like, I, I could actually just stay here. Like, I could fly here, hire one of these vans, and just stay here for two weeks skiing. Yeah, easy. So I didn't fun. even want to ski yesterday. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I don't want to. I'm only doing it for the girls. I'm so glad that I did push myself up the comfort zone yesterday. I did it. I did do it just for the girls because they really wanted me to. But now I want to go on a ski holiday. Yeah, man. And hire skis for myself. I you want? I want to go on a ski holiday before, but only because of how much fun the girls had. But now I want to go on a ski holiday for me because <laughs> it's so fun. Holiday home in Lapland. It's so fun. We've got like a couple of hours now for you to go and have a play. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Because the girls are desperate for you to chase them with the gimbal. The okay. Gimbal. What? The girls are desperate for Chris to chase them with the gimbal. Do you have any idea how weird that actually sounds in real life, Sarah? <laughs> I don't know. Apart from anything else, it is a little bit odd that they are so keen to be followed around with a camera, right? And then um, at the end, if you come off in the time, then I might have another, another couple of goes down. Okay. It tell you what, every part of my body's aching, <laughs> especially my fingers. You're holding my weight, pulling yeah. that, pulling up, because obviously they don't have a proper lift because it's a children's one. Kids are light, aren't they? Easily hold their own weight. Not this big mama. <laughs> You're not a big mama. <laughs> I'm a big mama. I'm a big mama. <laughs> I'm a big mama, and I don't care. I'm holding myself up, going like two miles an hour, and all these kids at the side of me flying up on the ski lifts like this, and I'm like. This. <laughs> 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 right then, let's do it. I don't know what Sarah's on about me chasing people with gimbals and all that sort of stuff. I ain't skied in over a year, man. I'm beyond my butt. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> let's go. Time for me to suit up and boot up. Bam, 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 bam. All right, we'll start with a little run down the baby slope just to make sure I've still got it. Oh, Chris, 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 but you never had it in the first place, did you? In any respect. Why does he think that he's like this super duper skier, you know, that's so experienced at skiing that he's been skiing many, many times in his life and he actually hasn't, has he? I start going silly on the mountains. Oh. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, this is a piece of shit. This, man. It's like riding a bike. Once you're on, you can never forget it. Alright, we 
people. We're ready for the mountains. Let's go. Okay. That would be scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's the scariest bit, not coming down the hills, it's just actually getting on the ski lift. <laughs> the rest of it's easy. I've opted for no ski poles just because I want to have free hands for the camera. And I can ski fine without them, I don't need them, but I'm just wondering if I'm gonna be able to get off of this lift without ski poles, so this might be a bit embarrassing. Well, you know. So beautiful here today. Whoa. Oh. I didn't mean to grab it like that. I meant to grab it like sit above on it. Yeah. For some reason I panicked. I didn't let go of it. Did you have it over both your legs? No, I had it up my hand like this. It was dragging oh. me over. <laughs> yeah, go wherever you want, babe. Who called it then, guys? I know a lot of you said Chris is going to be woohooing down the hill, and he actually did woohoo down the hill. Fucking <laughs> <Like an> idiot. <laughs> Fall over. Okay. Two out of two, not bad. Not falling yet. It's weird, it's minus 10 today, it says, but it does not feel cold. Yesterday it felt really cold. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, whenever well, you guys are ready. The doors will be gone. I don't know who their kayaking guy am. I've done three runs, three runs, and now I'm on the lift right to the very top of the mountain to do the biggie. <laughs> so, I don't know what's going to happen here. Have you noticed the difference between how Chris is approaching all this to how Sarah's been approaching it, right? Now, I don't like either of them, right? No matter what I've said throughout the course of this video, I don't. 
But if you look at the two, you've got Chris on the one hand really being very show-offy about it, even though he hasn't been on the skis for a long time. He thinks he's the master of everything, right, doesn't he? Now, on the other hand, you've got Sarah, who's being very much like one step at a time sort of thing, doesn't care, says she doesn't care what people think, she's just going to do her own thing, if she can make it good, if she can't, doesn't matter. Chris, on the other hand, he thinks that he's the boss. He's going to boss it in actual fact, isn't he? This might be bad. I'm not sure. I've got Esme and Isla and Isabel with me, though. They're all down, too. So, uh... <laughs> this might be embarrassing. Relaxing, though. Calm before the storm and all that. I can see it. You can't, you can't. I was going to come up myself, but this has been high. Yeah. I think we'll be alright, Alz. Because there's lots of flats to slow down on look. I'm not sure I'm ready. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready to do it all. Oh man. Look what we are about to go down right now. It doesn't even look that steep. I'm going around, I'm going around. It doesn't even look that steep. Yeah, it's in my angle. It doesn't even look like steep. It's literally just a drop. I don't know if I can do this. Esme's gone. Isabel, you go next. I don't want to go next. Es, wait for us! What the hell? That's the last thing a place like that with a lot of snow around needs is one of the Ingham shouting and echoing their voice around so that, you know, like the avalanches and stuff like that, isn't it? It's so beautiful though with the snow falling. I don't know if I can do it either. <laughs> Yeah, fast. Isabel's gone. <laughs> okay, I can't be the only pussy. Let's do it. My leg was bobbling like a little chicken coming down that then. <laughs> this, is, this is even scarier. <sighs> I was scared someone's going to come flying down as well hey, behind you. Can't stop. You're going to go flying over the oh, yeah. yeah. Why are we doing it red so we're not even amateurs? Happy you are. Side to side, babe, all the way down. Just shift your weight across from each leg. I think it's too tight. Perfect, well done, Al. You're a boss. Just remember, nothing bad can happen to you. At worst, you're going to go fast and you'll stop at the bottom. Don't worry. Well, I don't know if Chris was being a bit stupid in order to, um, like, encourage his daughter he's not usually the encouraging type of, is he really but you know that worst you can go fast and you'll end up at the bottom no uh at worst you'll fall and break your leg or break your back or something like that <laughs> not that i want that to actually happen i'm just saying that it's a possibility if you go too fast and then you fall and various things has anybody watched <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going off kilter again here. Yeah. But fucking you know. right. What's his name? Michael Schumacher, the racing car driver, right? 
the Formula One driver. A few years back, he had a massive accident on the skis, and he he hasn't recovered since. I think he's okay years ago now but there's a documentary on netflix if you want to watch that it's brilliant right and um yeah that's an example of something that bad could could actually happen i don't want to be the bearer of bad tidings all the time you know mr negative <laughs> but you know bad things can happen just saying <laughs> Well done, Isla. Perfect, man. Well done, guys. Boss. That's it, Al. Well done. Woo! I might just have a leg break here for a minute. My legs are hurting. <laughs> What? That thing. Oh, the far one. Yeah. Oh, it's so silent here. Don't talk for a minute. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. I'm, I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna wear slow. Well done, babe. And you're I'm bossing not, it now. You're, you're yeah. almost we're halfway down it now. I've only skied four times in my life, and I've just gone down a red slope. Bossing it. But look at this view. Like that is just unbelievable. That was unbelievable. It'd be unbelievable if we survived this. <laughs> <laughs> We're done now. We're good. Well, we've still got quite a base to go, but. We're done now. Well. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> right, are we ready? <laughs> Hold on, I've left my sticks. <laughs> Man, the view from the top of these runs is just insane. You just know that Chris stopped them so that they could have a look at the views because that's all he's all about is the views. He needs to see the views of the mountains from the, the top of the mountains whilst he's going down the ski slope. It's just the views. It's lovely, isn't it? It's the views. Get on with it, Chris. Get down the mountain. We're all waiting. But this one's hella steep, man. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, me and the little three are going to watch the older three and dad on the big slopes whilst we sit here by the fire. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Come inside fries, Lollies. <laughs> the good oh, juice. Nice. Yeah. So now we're having a white chocolate, Mama. magnet, coconut, Mama. and mango. Magnum. Mm. Yes. <laughs> you are on sledges with Jay's. Yeah. Your beautiful marble yeah. eyes. You're so pretty. Uh -huh. You too, Jay's. Yes. Yeah. The green one goes very fast. That green sledge zooms, doesn't it? Yeah. It does right. It's faster than the snowman. <laughs> I think. Daddy and the other two girls are still outside. We've got about an hour left, 45 minutes ish. So we're going to eat our ice lollies. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Cheeky darling, where's my big girl? My beautiful little like chicken darling. Ted. Cheeky darling, not chicken, you're my chicken boy. And you? Chicken boy. <laughs> no, you're not eating my chicken legs. Oh my I will God. eat your chicken legs. Wait, you go, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> you can't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, we are. Are you saying hello? 
Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, you want to eat them? You're going to go straight in the mouth, aren't you, if I put that camera any closer? We just got back from ski. Well, I say we just got back from skiing. We just had the nice. Do you know what? The last three or so days have just been the best of my whole life. And I know I keep saying that, but I can't explain to you how much fun I've genuinely had. And I just feel just on the biggest high right now. And I'm just in like my own amazing world. Uh, it's just been the best fun. Oh. oh, I know what you should do, Sarah. I have an idea for you, okay? You should stay there and continue having fun and allow Chris to go on his merry way and just look at the views because that's what he wants to do, you know? That's his thing, the views. Your thing is a bit more like entertainment, kind of, you know, differing opinions. But, you know, I feel like you would be better off just staying, you know? Let Chris fuck off. Careful, Jeez. Can I get some? No, you can't hold her on your own. One minute. So, it's been the best. We finished up skiing. We went and had ice lollies. Then Jace, Jace, then Daddy, Esme and Isla joined us. We had more ice lollies. And then we went over to the service house. And we spent an hour just chilling in the service house. Because it's just really nice in there. Big leather sofa. And we all just spent an hour or so chilling in there, talking about the holiday and my best bits and what we're looking forward still to come, etc, etc. So, yeah, we're now back in the van. We're all just chilling out. Dad is waking dinner tonight. Whoa. <laughs> he opened a cup and everything fell out on him. Food well, we're guaranteed to not get food poison with Dad. We're just not guaranteed to not get black meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Today has been amazing. It's been the best. I'm so proud of the girls. Do you know one thing that I love about things like this? It's how we're always there, bigging each other up, pushing each other to be our best, and just encouraging each other to be the best that we can be. And I'm so proud of the girls. Like, I'm obviously proud of Esme because she's fearless and she just busts it with any type of sport she does. But I'm incredibly proud of Isabel and Isla because, number one, Isabel holds back a lot due to Fear of causing disturbance to others is the only way I can put it. Um, yeah, she 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 don't want to cause disturbance to others, so she'll she won't go up the lift because she don't want to fall and then make other people have to wait, or she's anxious about getting onto the lift in case it doesn't go right and things like that. So she often holds back doing things, and she didn't. She pushed herself out of her comfort zone, and she just loved it. And she went up that hill today. And I, for one, I'm glad that she did. You know, amongst. All of you, probably Angela, need something like that more than the most, right? Because we all know that, um, well, you've all got issues, right? But Angela just generally is kind of lost a lot of the time. You know, Isabel today was such a boss because we was going, I don't think we told this to the camera, but we're going on the hill. I don't even know if I'm so, on, you, on you, Isla. You are, you're good. There you go. So we're going up you one of the biggest hills. It's the second to worst, so it's red. We're, um, and I did it too. It's this really big lift, very steep, the lift. Um, and we get to the top and it's just a sheer drop going down. And we're like, oh my gosh. It's terrifying. And Isabel actually like got on the lift and wasn't willing to do it. She was like... And I, I That's was what makes you proper push yourself? Yeah. Like she didn't hold back and worry about it too much, which is what she sometimes does. Yeah, holds back and worries a bit too much, and she didn't. She just went for it. And that hill was terrifying. I can't believe I did it. I'm so happy yeah. that I did it. I know, and I'm just going to say just quickly, and I'm really proud of Isla because Isla on trips like this is always desperate to keep up with Esme. She's always desperate, so, but sometimes when you're a few years younger, it's really difficult to try and keep up with your older sister. Yeah. But she absolutely pushed herself so much that she kept up. She fully yeah. kept up. <laughs> she pushed herself past her limits that she usually has Thank you. and she absolutely just kept up with the older ones and Chris and they went on like she just said the steepest one there is yeah she got a bit of a panic when you got to the top because it was a very very high yeah mountain it was a red route yeah, yeah, yeah. so for anybody that knows about skiing then you'll know what a red route is Second to worst. black's the worst that black's the hardest this was red uh, bear in mind they've only ever skied three times previous in their lives yeah so, I want to say something too. Sorry, Isla. I am really proud of Mummy because today 
Yes. Well, yesterday, yesterday she started off by literally going down maybe that much of the hill and be like, yeah, I did it! And did. then today she went to the top of the slope, the top of the, I did. the kids slope, but it's high. And that's what I did last time. So my yeah. first time skiing last time was from the top of the kids slope. Yeah. So next time we go skiing, yours will be Exactly. I and I was saying before, like, I'm not in competition with anyone else. I'm celebrating my own wins. And just because somebody else can go on red slopes or black slopes, I'm not in competition. I'm celebrating my own achievement. And my own achievement this, this last two days was to go to the top of those smaller slopes. And I blooming bossed it. So, yeah, I'm proud of myself as well. It's not all about the big end goal. It's about the little steps that you take along the way. And I'm just... And I hope other people take encouragement from that as well with everything you do. So I also am proud of myself. And, and another thing as well, I really, really enjoyed it. It wasn't like I did it and I was like, ooh, I'm a bit... I just wanted to go again and again and again. And I, 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 I feel like I wasn't just going to the top of the hill and winging it to get down. I felt like I got a bit of a technique going and I realised like what I needed to do with my legs to be able to turn or stop. No, I don't bother with onions and stuff like that. You can put garlic and stuff in, but don't bother with onions, not in spaghetti meatballs. Um. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a bit of a tip here, Sarah, on how to cook spaghetti and meatballs, right? So, I don't know how you're doing it. You're probably doing it with a jar of gravy, are you? A jar of gravy. Because I know how you love your meatballs and gravy. What the fuck is that about? I know it's maybe a Swedish thing or an Ikea thing, right? <laughs> And for you, that is one and the same, right? So, I just don't get the whole gravy. But you're probably using gravy granules or something like that. Aren't you? <laughs> anyway, tomato sauce type and meatballs, right? If you're making tomato sauce from scratch, right? You're going to need a bit of onions, right? But you're not doing it from scratch either, are you? Why wouldn't you? A jar of tomato sauce. No, no. You're better than that, Chris. But, um, yeah, so I'm not proud of just being able to get up there and get back down. I actually mastered the technique of skiing. So I worked out how I need to just, what I need to do with my legs to go sideways and that way and that way and, that, and then to slow down. And I really got to enjoy it in the end, like properly. Like, this is so fun. I'm having the best time ever. Like, Chris came over. All three girls were off on the slopes and I was on my own. <laughs> there was nobody else on the children's slopes. I was just on my own, but I didn't care. I was in my own world, loving it. I had the best time. I can't wait to go skiing again. My shins are so bruised, but it was the best. Right. I'm sorry, but... Hello, cheeky Why do you keep doing that thing with her mouth? You see her today doing that thing with her mouth? Like she's eating something. You try to sit up. <laughs> You've got the strongest stomach muscles you happy girl guys it's our last night here tonight so we're determined to come out and toast marshmallows this minus 18 is the coldest we've had it's bloody freezing <laughs> no joke tonight it's no joke <laughs> It's actually not bad when you sat around the fire, but um, my toes feel like they're actually on fire. Um, I'm not sure what these boots are talking about when it says keep your feet warm up to minus 30, because my feet ain't warm right now. I don't know, mine are pretty warm actually. I don't know, my toes are cold. But um, yeah, I've purpose, yeah, Aurora's fast asleep in here before anyone starts it. It's too cold for a baby. Babies are born all the time in Scandinavia, you know. All the time. I'm going to blow your mind now, Sarah. I'm actually going to blow your mind. Right, yes, you are very, very correct. Babies are born in Scandinavia all the time. However, because they live there all the time and they actually live there constantly on a full-time basis, they are acclimatised to the weather and it doesn't phase them, right? It doesn't, honestly. You know, as long as they're adequately sort of protected, they're fine. But when you take a baby from one area, which might be a warmer country, and then put them in a cold, freezing cold weather, yeah, it doesn't quite 
work out very well for them. It's the same when you take them, say if you went from Scandinavia now, right, and took your baby into the, like, Brazilian, like, Brazilian heat, right, it would be, you know, the, the contrast in temperatures. It's a lot, right, that's what I'm trying to say. And we've seen some babies, not probably younger than Mila Aurora actually, been um, pulled along on sledges and all sorts. So um, she's wrapped up nice and warm. She's got a long sleeve vest on, a Vela sleep suit. What did we just put? A, a thick jumper dress, a big thick coat, fluffy one, a hat. She's in the sling, and I've worn my dry robe, so she's even got that extra layer. Okay, tonight is our last night here, which sucks. I am absolutely definitely not ready to leave, so sell. Well, the beauty of wild camping is that you are able to just stay on wherever you want to go. You don't have to go anywhere if you don't want to go anywhere. You can just stay if you want to stay. You don't have to, to move if you don't want to. Or this resort at all. It's been the best few days. But it's time to get back on the road. This place is also, to be fair, if this place was open tomorrow, I'd be very tempted to stay again another day. Had so much fun today on the slopes with the girls. It was absolutely amazing. Um, everyone is actually in bed right now. I'm about to start editing for the night, but um, we've had like a, a few washing loads on this evening and they're not quite done yet. So I'm just come back. I've taken out to everyone. I've just come back to check on them basically. And this one has still got an hour and 59 minutes left. So I'm hoping by the time I finish working that this will be done and ready and whatnot. It's so cool that you can just use the, literally you can just use the um, washing machine here. Like usually at camp places, the it, things like that are chargeable, but this place is not. Also, it's really cool. In fact, there is literally nobody here, nobody whatsoever. All the camp, all the caravans that people are staying in, they've, like, they've all gone, they've all gone home. There's, there's nobody here. It looks like a completely dead place. There's literally just us here, and um, it's just it's cold. It's weird. But it's very cold tonight. It's minus 19 outside right now. It says minus 19 and a half on a little monitor. I think I think I just took a video clip of it. You just seen in the in the van before I left everybody. So it's a chilly one. It is supposed to get like a little bit warmer after the next few days. I don't want that. I don't want it to get warmer. I'm chasing the cold, or we're chasing the cold. I really want to see like how cold we can find on this trip. And um, hopefully we're gonna we're gonna find better than minus 19. But minus 19 is a goodie. It's definitely the coldest on this trip so far. Anyway, one thing that's amazing when it gets to this type of temperature is when you come outside and everything is like crystal. Can you see? I don't know if you can even see on the camera. Everything sparkles like crazy. I kind of hoped we'd get some aurora action here tonight because it's so clear. But all the maps are showing that all the aurora action tonight is right at the top of the country. Like you're talking like Nord Cap in Norway. So it's really, really far from where we are right now. And I've seen nothing. Although you, what you can see in the air tonight is loads of ice particles just falling everywhere. Anyway. I'm filling up our water bottles, ready to depart in the morning, right now. Get all them filled up with some nice drinking water for the next few days. Um, and then I'm going to go start working, come back and check on this laundry in a little bit. But thank you so much for watching this video, hopefully you loved it. This place is freaking amazing and if you're looking for a very family friendly place to come and ski, camp, stay, whatever, this is the place to be. The entire town, Sorcel. Is the most picturesque winter town you ever saw. It's got everything here you could need. And um, it's just infinitely beautiful everywhere. As hopefully you will have seen on these videos over the last few days. So, you know, it's one to check out for sure. Thanks so much for watching guys. Good night.
וואו, that was stunning. Stunning, I tell you, stunning. Right. <laughs> so I know that during the course of this video, I've kind of done one or two sermons, right? May, may, may or may not have made a lot of sense at all, in fact. Um, so I don't really know what to say, except for sorry. <laughs> you know i've got to come up with something haven't i and that those were my thoughts as i was watching you know sarah going up the hills and coming down the hills and and things like that anyway yes i fam i'm completely jealous there you go i said it jealous of the fact that sarah doesn't care about anything <laughs> that's not a good trait to have by the way <laughs> but you know it is what it is. It's the best you're going to do, right? So, please give this video a thumbs up and comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Until next time, have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.